I W T T T. I was told to try. Ugh, for a video next. Ah, uh, so uh, let's talk to some banana. Also, can you read the first Harry Potter book and review it? I don't want to do this, but I, I have another Harry Potter book. It's so weird. Walk down a sidewalk. Go read the, Just like the a simple Harry idea. Potter series. I will and do not it. Not die of stage so, uh, three yeah. cancer. Oh, Ask no. me anything okay. in the comments below, <laughs> or as I say it, really, he, I was told to try. He's asking me again. You know what? I'll just read the tales of Beetle the Bard. I wasn't really feeling like this, but. Here comes Banana in here. He wants me to review a Harry Potter book. And you know what I'm doing for IWTTT? I'm reviewing the tales of Beetle the Bard, which is from Harry Potter. That's how epic I am. My room, Harry Potter themed. Me, Harry Potter fan. Harry Potter book. Me read Harry Potter book. Let's do this. So this is Tales of Beetle the Bard. This is so cringy, okay. Okay, let's do this. The Tales of Beale the Bard. Okay, that's just an introduction. I'm so dumb. Let's, let's just start. The Wizard and the Hopping Pot. There was once a kindly old wizard who used his magic generously and wisely for the benefit of his neighbors. Rather than reveal the true source, rather than reveal the true source of his power, he pretended that his potions, charms, and antidotes sprang ready-made from the little cauldron he had. He called his luck lucky cooking pot from miles around people came to him with their troubles and the wizard was pleased to give his pot a stir and put things right this well-beloved wizard lived to a good to a goodly age then he died <laughs> leaving all his chattels to his only son this one was very was of a very different deposition to his gentle father those who could not work magic here to the son's mind worthless and he had often quarreled with his father's habit of dispensing magical aid to their neighbors upon the father's death the son found hidden inside the old cooking pot a small package bearing his name he opened it hoping for gold but found it instead instead a soft thick slipper much too small to wear and with no pair a fragment of parchment within the slipper board the words in the fawn hope my son that you will never need it the son cursed his father's age softened mine then threw the slipper back into cauldron into the cauldron Resolving to use it henceforth as a rubbish pail. That very night, a peasant woman knocked on the front door. My granddaughter is afflicted by a crop of warts, sir. She told him, "Your father used to mix a magical, I mean, make mix a special poultice in that old cooking pot." Be gone! Cried the son. What care I for your brat's warts? and he slammed the door in the old woman's face. At once, there came a loud clanging and banging from his kitchen. The wizard lit his wand and opened the door, and there, to his amazement, he saw his father's old cooking pot. It sprouted a single foot of brass and was hoping on the spot in the middle of the floor, making a fearful noise upon the flagstones. It's really good so far. The sun's rude, okay? That was my quick review, four minutes long, epic, two pages, good review, nine out of ten. Read this.
it's epic. Thank you to Banana for recommending this to me. This was a very awkward video, but I liked it. And uh, see you guys in the next episode of IWTTT. Tell me in the comments below what to do next, because I don't know. Well, I've kind of got a question for you guys. Tell me in the comments below. What actually goes down in Area 51? Introducing ITYTT.